Hello and welcome to Bob's Programming Academy. In this video, we present an email client that makes API calls to send and receive emails. The application is built using Django, Bootstrap and vanilla JavaScript. So how does this application work? First, create a new account. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will set the email address to joe at bobsprogrammingacademy.com and the password to pass1234 exclamation mark. The user is automatically logged in after registration. Once the user logs in to the application, they are presented with their mailbox. The default view is inbox, where all the emails received by the logged in user are held. To see the emails sent by the logged in user, click the send button. To view the archived emails, click the archive button. Let's write and send a new email. To do that, click the compose button, fill in the recipient's email address, email subject and message and then click send. Once the email has been sent, the user's send mailbox is loaded. We can see that the new email has been added to the list of sent emails. Now let's log in as Bob, who is the recipient of the new email from Joe. The new email is displayed at the top of the inbox. By default, only the first 100 characters of the message are displayed, and to read the entire email, we need to click the read button. Here we can also find two additional buttons, one to reply to the sender and another to archive the email. Let's reply to the Joe's email. To do that, click the reply button. The form is pre-filled with the recipient's email set to whoever sent the original email. In our case, Joe has sent an email to Bob and now Bob is replying back to Joe. The subject field is also pre-filled and it displays the original email subject with the RE prefix. The message field is also pre-filled and it displays the information on who sent the email and when it was sent, followed by the text of the original email. Let's remove that and write a new message. Next, we click send. As we mentioned earlier, once the email has been sent, the user's send mailbox is loaded. We then log in again as Joe. We can see the email from Bob to Joe at the top of the inbox. We click the read button to read the entire email. Now we can also archive this email. To do that, click the archive button. The email is no longer displayed in the inbox and to view it, click the archive button. Here it is. We click the read button to read the entire email. From the screen, we can also unarchive the email. This action will move the email back to the inbox. To do that, click the unarchive button. We can see that the email is now again displayed in the inbox. To get access to this project, go to the project's GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description section below. Next, press the download zip button to download the code. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the project, open it in Visual Studio Code or some other code editor of your choice. Before we start, make sure that you have all the required prerequisites installed on your machine. The prerequisites for this project are Python and Visual Studio Code. Alternatively, you can use some other code editor. First, create a virtual environment in the root folder. To create a virtual environment, open the terminal and from the root directory run Python dash M VENV VENV. Next, activate the virtual environment by running the command source VENV slash bin slash activate. Next, install Python packages listed in the requirements.txt file. pip install dash r requirements.txt. Next, run migrations. From the root directory, run python manage.py make migrations. Python manage.py migrate. To start the application, from the root directory, run python manage.py run server. 
This command starts a lightweight development web server on your local machine. By default, the server runs on port 8000 on the IP address 127.0.0.1. Go to HTTP 127.0.0.1 port 8000 to view the application. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps with the algorithm to get our videos out there to more and more people so that we can continue making them. We really appreciate it. Also, you can leave a comment below on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.